Your favorite cocktail isn't just a delicious refreshment, it's also a towel. While no good bartender would ever deny someone a cocktail or discriminate against guests based on their choices, he or she can't help but draw some conclusions about customers based on their orders. So next time you go to order a drink, know that you're making a certain kind of impression and tip generously if it's a Ramos Gin Fizz. Here, what your drink order says about you, according to bartenders. Vodka Martini Vodka martinis are for highly successful, highly functional alcoholics. David Bumba, Yuzu, Lakewood, oh. I like to stay classy. Wait whoa. This doesn't taste right. What kind of martinis do you have? I wanted, like, a lemon drop you know. Morrison Nichols, no vacancy, Los Angeles. You like what you like and who cares what that smug bartender thinks? He can piss off. Stephen Robbins, Half Step, Austin, TX. A vodka martini tells me a customer wants to appear elegant, but doesn't want to repeat his or her quite unfortunate incident. Vikram Hedge, Little Donkey, Cambridge Ma. I know all you want is cold vodka. No vermouth, maybe an olive. You just want to get drunk and you don't want it to taste like anything. Justin Garcidias, Aviary, Portland, or. You want what you want how you want it. You are challenging and appreciative. You're willing to be let down many times so that you can be enchanted by your favorite things in their perfect form. Brandy Fight, Headwaters, Portland, or. You own several volumes of presidential biographies by Arthur M. Schlesinger J.R. You feel that Andrew Jackson has been unfairly maligned. Drew Record, Mr. Juice, San Francisco, C.A. Manhattan. A Wall Street guy. He'll down three Manhattans with lunch and go back to work. Carlos Artiega, Halifax, Hoboken, New Jersey. You enjoy the finer things in life, from the Italian leather jacket on your back to the sleek designer frames you are using to stare down the glass in front of you, as you enjoy the Luxardo cherry at the bottom of it the perfect end to your elegant nightcap. Justin Nelson, Plan Check Kitchen and Bar, Los Angeles, CA. If a woman walks up and knows the whiskey she wants when ordering her Manhattan, I'm ready to high-five her. Melody Plate, Kitty Cohen's, Austin, TX. Just finished Mad Men. Morrison Nichols. It must be dinner time, old man. Stephen Wicker, The Regent Cocktail Club, Miami, FL. You embrace living. You are as positive as you are pragmatic. You like food as much as you like nice spirits. Brandy Fight. You're an old soul. David Williams, Bakari GDL at the Americana at Brand, Glendale, CA. You always come in last in your office fantasy football league, despite your advanced degree in statistical analysis. You always think you'll do better next year, despite the fact you really can't afford to lose the $100 buy-in. Drew Record. Ramos Gin Fizz. You feel the need to escalate things to the next level. You're not satisfied with an everyday sour. Justin Nelson. I know pretty much everything about cocktails. This one has egg whites. I brought an egg for you, just in case. Morrison Nichols. I just read my first cocktail book. Jesse Vita, Black Tail, New York, New York. You're a jerk, you're now last in line. Hey Barback come shake this. Stephen Wicker. You are enthusiastic and naive. You want me to like you, but you have no clue how you are actually punishing me. Brandy Fight. You pretty much already know what you're doing. I'm probably just going to end up geeking out about gin with you. Michael Seretini, Tag Restaurant, Denver, CO. You just want to see the bartender work. Christian Molina, Rouge Tomate Chelsea, New York, New York. I was recently traveling in Singapore and a bar I was at had a sign with the house rules on it. Number 7 said FK your Ramos Gin Fizz. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic cocktail and I have no problem stoking you out on a Tuesday with it, but you're an asshole if you knowingly order that on a busy Friday night. Elliot Mizuki, Polite Provisions, San Diego, CA. You have a dark sense of humor. You have lost several significant relationships in your life because you don't know where to draw the line. Drew Record. Negroni. Negronis are for bartenders who complain about every aspect of their job. David Bumba. 
equal parts balanced, bittersweet, sophisticated, with a little zest. I'm not sure if I'm describing the cocktail or the drinker, but I'm sure this would work either way. Justin Nelson Ordering a Negroni is the new bartender's handshake. If you order one from me, I'll stir two and sip the second for myself, and we'll probably be best friends. Please and thank you. Elliot Mizuki Now here is someone I can work with. This says you have a more experienced palate and are a shining beacon of hope, cheers to you. Stephen Robbins I can immediately tell I'll love them and they'll love me. After I hook them with a balanced, delicious Negroni, I can go down the rabbit hole with so many bitter and spirit options to make Negroni variations. Bryn Smith, Sato, Los Angeles, CA You can speak on more literary works than everyone combined at this bar, and you don't need to brag about it. Brandy Fight They may be a hipster, but that's totally okay. Let's be friends. If you say yes, we're either going to drink a Boulevardier or a Ferrari shot. Ted Vong, Tag Restaurant, Denver, CO. You enjoy the aura of Wes Anderson, but feel his later works may be bouncing too erratically from self-effacing treacle to non-ironic camp. Drew Record. Whiskey Sour. I like whiskey, but I also like video games. Takes the bus and knits during the ride. Patrick Williams, Punch Bowl Social. I may or may not be 21. Kayla Quigley, Citizen Public House and Oyster Bar, Boston, Ma. Would rather be drinking a Jack and Coke. David Chenot, The Rookery, Portland, or. You're moving on from from those whiskey gingers you've been ordering since day one, and are looking for something a little more complex. Justin Nelson. You're doing your best. Alex Burns, Munigan and St. Louis Assembly, Chicago, I.L. Nothing wrong here, but it tells me you are fairly new to cocktails and I want to make you a cool variation and possibly your new favorite drink let's be friends. Stephen Robbins A younger drinker who is trying to mask the liquor. Billy Fable, Fire Lake Grill House and Cocktail Bar, Minneapolis, MN. This is for someone who recognizes they are too old to order sour apple teenies, but wants a compromise. Vikram Hedge With egg whites, you are super trendy. Without, you are an O.G. Brandy fight. You once saw Garth Brooks at the mall, shopping at Elaine Bryant. It is your great regret that you didn't say hi. Drew Record White Russian White Russians are for people who just want to chill out and secretly be at home listening to their vinyl collection. David Bumba My great-grandmother on a bender. David Chenot You've just watched The Big Lebowski, are obsessed with the movie or you're standing in front of me in a bathrobe, sunglasses, shorts, and leather sandals, and I already started making you one the moment you walked in the door. Right on dude. Justin Nelson. If this is all you drink, you clearly haven't puked up milk-laced vodka yet. Lucia Appel, Kelly's Olympian, Portland, or. You either have a good sense of humor or you're dumber than a bag of hammers. Stephen Robbins. Really like rugs and how well they tie rooms together. Dan Drake, Trench, Chicago, I.L. I had a guest once turn their nose up at the milk punch I had on my menu, because why would you combine milk and alcohol? Gross. But then no joke ordered a white Russian. I don't know what that says about this particular drink, but I'll never be able to forgive the Cone brothers. Justin Garcidias. Respectable by my standards. Almost all bartenders have deemed me gross because of it. Jane Danger. Mother of Pearl, New York, New York. You are kitschy. You once got a rash from a coat purchased at the Salvation Army. Your favorite color is plaid. Drew Record. Long Island Iced Tea. I won't have fun, unless I get drunk. Either doesn't have an active driver's license due to a DUI, or drives a big truck. Patrick Williams. You are 21. You have never seen a craft cocktail. You are trying to get white girl wasted. Morgan Zuch, Dats, Tampa, FL. You want to have a hell of a night and not remember the last half of it or how you got home. It's kind of like teleporting, but less complicated. Justin Nelson. Can I see your ID? Will Rivas, Pawn Broker, Miami, FL. I'm going to make your night hell. I'll try to juggle your garnish fruit later, and probably throw up. But hey, 
Make it strong. Morrison Nichols. Your name is Frank or Blaine or Tony and you have one mission in life, to be noticed God damn it. Drew Record. Faith in humanity destabilized, but maintaining. Anthony Schmidt, CH Projects, San Diego, CA. An amateur thinks of the bar as a place to get drunk, and the Long Island reflects that mindset. Try not to be an amateur. Ian Hardy, Huckleberry Bar, Brooklyn, New York. We didn't have your first two requests of Fireball and Goldschlager. Brandy Fight. Cosmopolitan. You don't let the zeitgeist dictate your drink preferences. Also you just got an HBO Go password from your sister-in-law and are catching up on sex in the city. Drew Record. You don't have frozen mango daiquiris. Drives a Volkswagen Beetle or a fun-looking Kia. Patrick Williams. Where's the rest of the bachelorette party? Justin Nelson. I can't decide whether I admire or abhor a man who orders a Cosmo for himself at the bar. Lucia Appel. I may think that it's been a while since you've been out, but I'm not judging. Stephen Robbins. A smart girl who can handle her liquor. Stephen Wicker. Sex and the City has been over since 2004. If you're still drinking Cosmopolitans, you need to let it go. I'm sad too, trust me, but move on. Justin Garcidias. You are the kind of cool that cannot be quantified or qualified. Brandy Fight. Moscow Mule. You fancy yourself a trendsetter. You have a subscription to both Better Homes and Gardens and Sunset. You have strong opinions on how lime wedges should be cut. Drew Record. I know what I like to drink and I've been doing it well for five years now. Drives a Toyota Camry. Patrick Williams. You've grown tired of those vodka cranberries, and found something just as tasty, less sweet, and with a little bite. Justin Nelson. You're probably going to be really disappointed that I don't serve it in a copper mug people steal them. Michael Hubner, Revival Cafe Bar, Chicago, IL. No copper cup. Okay, I'll have a Stella then. Morrison Nichols. No problem, but I'm guessing you just switched from a vodka soda and I don't want to scare you back into your burrow, so I will happily make you one. Tell me about that wild cruise you just went on. How high was the chocolate fountain? Stephen Robbins. You love aesthetics more than you love ginger. Go on, get that INSTagram cheersing shot. Brandy Fight. This drinker likely panicked and didn't know what else to order. Ted Vong. It was the first cocktail you ever had and the only one you'll ever order. Justin Garcidias. Mojito. They know what's up, but only during white pants season. David Chenot. Did you go on a tropical trip that you want to tell me about? Brandon Bigica, White Bison, and Pendulum, Vale, CO. You had one of these that first time you vacationed in Florida and had the time of your life. You look to replicate that feeling and have this drink take you back to that beach every time. Justin Nelson. You spent a semester abroad in college, but failed to properly assimilate to the culture. You secretly ate McDonald's twice a week. Drew Record. I'm scared of trying new things and your menu looks intimidating. Gabby Mlinarchik, Accomplice, and Birch, Los Angeles, CA. Oh no, no too sour. Nope, this one is too sweet. Nope, this one is too strong. Can you top it with soda? I'll close out, just one. Morrison Nichols. You hate making these, right? Make me on E. Lucia Appel. Whoever ordered this thinks it's hardest drink I have to make all night, but they don't know Ramos Fizz guy just left. Vikram Hedge. You're probably a cool cat looking for something refreshing. Just please don't crush it faster than I can make it these things take time. Ted Vong. Margarita. This person knows more than they let on and is judging. David Chenot. I'm a bit of a diet coke addict, but I like margaritas. Drives a minivan or station wagon. Patrick Williams. Gotta be the only tequila drink you know. Priscilla De Luna, The Roby, Chicago, IL. You've perfected your order of your favorite margarita and, depending on your current mood, this margarita can be the catalyst for an epic evening, or simply a compliment to those wonderful shrimp tacos in front of you. Justin Nelson. The quintessential drink for a person who doesn't plan on remembering what happens next. 
Vikram Hedge. I love you, you are the life of the party. Brandy Fight. What other cocktails do you know with tequila in them? None. Here's a Mexican firing squad. You'll thank me later. Ted Vong. You wear sensible shoes to work and always allow enough time for traffic. Your sex toy collection is organized by color and complexity. Drew Record.